marine boilers used in ships today are mostly for auxiliary purposes. Before, boilers are used as part of the main propulsion system, although there are still ships using steam turbines, mostly found in high-speed vessels used by navies. But for merchant ships, we have main engine that is responsible for propulsion. So we used boiler as an auxiliary machinery to produce steam. It is also called steam generator as it transforms water into steam. There are two types of boiler. Water tube boiler and fire tube boiler. In water tube boiler, water flows through tubes that are surrounded by hot combustion gases in a shell. While in fire tube boiler, hot flue gases flow inside tubes that are submerged in water within a shell. Where we usually use the steam produced by the boiler. Number 1. Most ships run by diesel engines have fuel oil tanks that are used to store heavy fuel oil or HFO. Since the viscosity of heavy fuel oil is very high, stored heavy fuel oil is almost as dense as tar and its high viscosity makes it unable to flow. The higher the viscosity of a liquid, the thicker it is, and the greater the resistance to flow. In order to transfer the stored heavy fuel oil to the settling tanks, and then to heavy fuel oil service tank, the viscosity needs to be maintained at a level corresponding to which easy flow is possible. For this, heavy fuel oil storage tanks are equipped with heating coils to maintain the fuel at a certain temperature, the heating fluid in the heating coils is steam that is produced by the auxiliary boiler. Number 2. Boiler is used in feed and let oil temperature of both fuel oil and lube oil purifier. Before entering the purifier, the dirty oil passes through the heater. This increases the temperature, thus reducing the viscosity of the oil to be purified. The lower the viscosity, the better will be the purification. Number 3. When the main engine is not in operation, standby, or at port, it is necessary to keep the jacket water temperature at least at 75 to 78 degrees Celsius, because the temperature of the main engine in working condition is at 80 to 85 degrees Celsius. To do this job, a preheater is provided, which can be steam from boiler or electrical heater. It is critical to maintain the temperature of the engine to avoid cold corrosion and thermal stresses during starting. Last one is in cold weather accommodation. It is also heated with steam produced by boiler. 